Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about wrapped handles or to wrap a bands uh, to wrap bands around objects. So let's start. So I delete everything. First, the basic workflow. So I add a cylinder. So I scale it a little bit and I validate this object. So you need the tube tool, create a, only a straight pass here like this. This is a basic workflow, so okay. Um, and then here you can adjust the um, the size of the tube and here in the three dots menu you find here this the spiral option here spiral and here you can set a twist angle so okay so now we have an object here and you see here the the pivot is not in the center you have to change the pivot to the center and then you can move the object back to the origin here. So then the objects here are in the same position. And I turn the outline on. Here you can see it. In the three dots menu, there's a, the option for the radius of this thing here. So something like this. And then we need a flat band. So here in the top menu, you can activate the profile and then edit the profile. And here you find the option for the closed profile and we need an open profile. So only a flat band, something like this. So in the solo view, you see here the band is twisted. So we have to yeah, <laughs> untwist it. So here in the top menu, you find the twist option. So we have to find the right orientation of the twist. something like this and yeah I think it's okay so every change in the settings in affects the whole band here so you have to play a, a round with a uh, with the twists, with the spiral, uh, with the twist angle here, with the radius. So every change you make, um, it affects the whole, whole thing. So, okay, but this could work. So it's it's okay like this. Um, it's a little bit smaller, but it doesn't um, make a difference. So now we can validate this thing and we can trim. In the trim settings, make sure that hole filling is off here. Um, so let's trim the top away. Like this, a little bit more. And the bottom. Okay. The next thing is we need, um, here's a misc menu, ah. the misc menu, and here you find the reproject uh, vertex option. You need only the vertices for this, sync layers we can turn off. And here you see in number one, um, it's only reprojecting on the cylinder. So this is correct. So press reproject. And now your, your 
or flat band is reprojected on the cylinder. So So maybe you, you change your cylinder like this here and make the band a little a little bit um, bigger th than this. So you have now um, such an egg cylinder. <laughs> okay, then it also works. So now it wraps it around this um, object. So something like this. Okay, and now if you want, you can mask this object and give it a shell thickness. So I set the smoothness and uh, the thickness of the the whole thing and extract the whole thing. So a little bit, not so much. So here in, in this view you see now the, the band. Okay, so let's do this with a curved object. So I start here <laughs> so let's use Maybe such a from an X a handle, something like this. So now don't validate this object before um, everything is done. So now use the clone option. Now you have a second tube here al along, and now it's possible to activate the spiral. Give it a little bit of twist. So, and now we can change the radii. We only need one radius for the whole tube here. So, something like this. Okay, then set the profile, edit the profile to an open profile. And then we have to change the twist. So I think the twist is okay. What happens if we change the radius? Everything The twist thing is always annoying. Now, this should work. Okay, this tube you, we can validate. So then we trim it. Now we need the polygon, I think. And I trim it here. If we don't trim this thing, 
the reprojection um, doesn't work correct. So I change to additive to see through the object and then so the object has always to be a little bit smaller uh, that the reprojection works fine. So now the band is in correct position and then we need the reprojection and reproject it. So here in solo view we see now the the band and here we can use the mask tool and try our extraction. So we need a little bit more. So now we have a nice band. Something like this here. And the reprojection works on on every um, surface so you can squeeze it and and reproject it then so i hope this helps have fun with sculpting ciao